So today we're going to be making seafood egg goosey soup. So I have here about two and a quarter cup of ground egg goosey. If you have it whole, just put that in your grinder and grind it until smooth. And you have a ground egg goosey. We're also going to use two large red bell peppers, one large red onion, two habanero peppers, as well as um, some dry chili peppers. I have about six here. Now, these chili peppers add a great flavor to the soup. You can tone down on this if you don't want it too spicy. I also have mackerel fish here cleaned up and chopped in individual pieces ready to go. I'm gonna use about three of them. I think one is cut into about four pieces. Sprinkle some salt and let it sit. I have some shrimps, some dried prawns, or dried shrimps, whatever you call it, and also some periwinkles. I have as well some dry fish and stockfish. Now you can use whatever seafood you want. Um, I highly recommend the mackerel fish. I believe it's the best fish for a goosey soup. And of course for greens, I have some frozen uh, chopped spinach here. I'm probably gonna use twice as much because I use a lot of vegetables in my goosey soup. I also have some ground crayfish, some seasoning cubes, palm oil, salt, and cameron pepper. Now cameron pepper adds really great flavor to your food. So I'm gonna be using that. You can tone down on the habanero and use cameron pepper instead, but I highly recommend it. So let's get cooking. Now get your pot and put some palm oil in it. I'm using about half a cup. You can go up to half a cup to two thirds of a cup. Should be fine. Heat that up. Now chop up a quarter of your large red onions and throw that in the hot oil. Now go ahead and add your egusi and stir. Make sure this is on high heat, but keep stirring. Pay attention to it so it doesn't get burnt. Keep stirring until it looks like this. Now go ahead and take it out and set it aside. Get your blended mix, the rest of your onions, your bell peppers, your habanero and your dry chili. Put about a cup of water in there. Add your stock fish and dry fish. Try to rip them up in small pieces. Add your dried prawns. Also add crayfish. I'm using two tablespoons of ground crayfish. Add some malt water, cover that and bring it to a boil. So after about 10 minutes, go ahead and add your egg back onto the pot, stir it around and cover it again. Bring it to another boil for about 20 minutes. At this point, we're going to add some locust bean or iru. This is optional but highly recommended. A lot of people don't like iru, but to me, it's like the best ingredient to any of your Nigerian soups iru and okiri. I added another tablespoon of crayfish. And also I'm going to add seasoning cubes. Remember I'm not using any meat stock in this recipe today because we're using fresh fish. So I'm going to add four cubes, two Maggi cubes, one nor and one Royco cube. You can use whatever four cubes you prefer. 
since we're not adding any meat stock to this recipe I recommend using four to get it real tasty so stir that around I don't like my egusi soup too thick so I will be adding more water here also because I want the fish to be able to cook so I add about two cups of water if you don't like it light like I do you can just keep it at one cup and watch your consistency as you go also depends on your egusi Now take our fish that has been sitting, sitting with some salt sprinkled on it and throw that in your pot ready to cook. Cover that and bring that to a boil. Make sure when you stir, once the fish is in the soup, you begin to stir from the bottom up. Add your shrimps. And we stir from the bottom up because we don't want uh, our fish to break. Because it's quite tender. Also add some periwinkle. And I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of salt. Now here goes our Cameroon pepper. I'm adding half a teaspoon as well because it's pretty hot but it gives your soup a great flavor. So highly recommend. Stir around. Again from the bottom to the top. Just be gentle so your fish doesn't break apart. Taste your soup. Mmm, tastes good already. So cover that up and bring that to another boil for about two minutes or so. Now we're gonna put, I'll do our last step, and our last step is adding our green vegetables. I'm using spinach here, some chopped spinach. You can use um, colored green if you want. going with spinach today using about two cups of frozen chopped spinach I love a lot of green vegetables in my soup so take it down a notch if you don't so cover that for about two minutes just to let your vegetables steam don't overcook it we want it still bright green It tastes so good. I can't stop licking. It tastes so good. Okay, I'm going to stop now. Now our soup is ready, guys. You can serve this with any swallow of your choice. Some oats, some pounded yam, some semovita, semolina, fufu, eba. Here it is, yummy and ready to go. Loaded with all the seafood you can imagine. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you tried the recipe. Let me know what you think. And until the next video, bye.